Okay. I just make sure that it's not my headset. Ah. Uh. <sighs> well, take two. Mm. <laughs> oh my God. They also give people a second to come back and hopefully yes. find us. Oh. I don't know. Snicker doodles. I don't understand what is going on. Hey, Catherine. Oh, hey, Catherine. Hi, yeah, yeah. What is up with Facebook? Was it last know. week that this happened? Hi, Doreen. Hey, Mom. Was it last week or was it the week before that we had this problem? I think it was the week before. Yeah. Something is going Thanks for your patience, Becky. Like, <laughs> we have problems with Facebook like uh, every single week. Chandra, we don't know what happened. I don't know, Chandra. It just. Facebook does funny things. It just, just picked stops. us out. Thanks for coming back. Yes, everyone. thank you. All right. Ay, yeah, like yeah. People are finding me again. Yes. Anyway. Yay. All right. <laughs> Welcome back. Ugh. It's been like, you know, 30 seconds. <laughs> I know. We act like it's been like 15 minutes. I know. And because I'm all like kind of foggy headed, I just feel so confused. <laughs> I don't blame you. I'm like, what is happening? I know. I Why? know. Okay. Why do these things happen? Yeah. All <sighs> right. Well, that's it. That's all I wanted to show for my acquisition was that lovely yarn. Yay. Um, lovely yarn. I have some yeah. lovely yarn. Yes. Yes, you do. I do. Cheryl's gradient. Because, mm -hmm. um, Amazing. Yes. Can we just start off with that? <laughs> oh, so, I'm like, yes. I don't even know what you're saying. I'm, I'm like, yes, I am amazing. You are amazing. Own it. Own it. <laughs> oh, my God, you guys, please excuse me. I'm being a total dork today. So I love you. You nailed it with these gradients. Thank you. The, the transition between the colors is just fantastic. Like, it's really smooth the way that it goes from color to color. I like that one. I'm really, really excited yeah. about how this came out i like it too and then with my new pom-pom seriously top, <laughs> it, it just doesn't get any better than that no, it's amazing look at that yes that looks really good that the and this was a happy accident yeah yeah we didn't exactly. know like I, she didn't know when she um died this yeah that i was gonna have this pom-pom yep and so I pulled out the pom-pom was like, look at my new pom-pom, which these are not in the shop yet. They will be. Yeah. I'm so sorry for the delay. Um, and she was like, oh, my gosh, I have a color. I'm like, oh, my God, look at this gradient. Look at this gradient. And I was like. It was like a peanut butter cup. All, yes. <laughs> I was like all the hard eyes. I'm yeah. like, this is ridiculous. Yes. It's like they were meant for each other. Yes, they were. They were just drawn to each other yes. from across the craft table. <laughs> hearts Woo. yes all the hearts <laughs> i love it um so this is gonna be our kit you guys i think right That's i think the so plan. this yeah. is gonna be part of our crochet kit is this gradient colorway the pattern pom-pom yes and then if we can manage it the crochet hook possibly. oh yes possibly yes if we can manage it the polymer clay crochet hook so this is going to be the crochet kit yeah. the first Hypnotic yarn crochet, crochet kit. Kit. yes, number one, numero uno yeah. for all of our crochet peeps. I'm really so excited about it. I'm super excited too. So it'll be mm -hmm. this hat pattern, this gradient, and this pom pom. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So good. It's gonna be amazing. I love it. So I'm very excited. Yeah. Me this too. is gonna be perfect. Me too. Doreen said wowza. Yeah, that's yes. a good word, Doreen. Wowza. I love that. That's my favorite. Yeah. Doreen, yummy. <laughs> yes. Very. Yeah. I oh, love it. yes. It thank you, Chand Chandra. Heart happy. She said, "Super cute." Oh, oh, thank you. So I'm super excited to uh, how it worked up. To have yes, I'm excited about how it worked up and how well the gradient just glided from color to color. Yeah, it really just transitioned so perfectly. And thank it's, you. You're welcome. I like how that one turned out. You're so too. talented. <laughs> and uh, and so. We figured it would be fun to have a crochet pattern for our crocheters out there instead yeah. of always having knit patterns. Yeah, exactly. And and a whole kit. Like, because yes. we said, we haven't done a kit for crocheters yet. And a lot of you are crocheters. So yes. We want to. We need to support and love our crocheters. Yeah, we want to support that. Yes. You guys, look at the mug my mom gave me. I love it. It says, sweater weather. What? And of course, the one day I'm not wearing a sweater. I've been wearing sweaters every week. Mm. I, almost I have a sweater on. One. I almost wore one. But I didn't. But can we stop Obviously. for a second just to talk about your amazing earrings? Thank you. Like, let's just start there. Um, statement earrings there. Yeah. 
Those are fabulous. Sequins. Sorry, I got I, those are very. Oh, I keep getting distracted by them because they're so pretty. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, I have so to like remind nice. myself to like put them on. I'm like, you know, I'm not used to wearing jewelry and mm -hmm. all that stuff. So yeah, I remind myself to like fancy myself up sometimes. Yes. Um. Oh, excuse me. What was I say? Oh, yeah. So I was gonna wear. I have the very first sweater I ever made, which was last year. And it turned out really well. I can't believe last year is the first time you've ever made a sweater. Mm. Yeah, first That's, one. Excuse me. Sweaters gosh. aren't hard, though. Like, they're not hard. People no, but think they're harder than they no, are. No, I just hard. would have thought that you'd been doing it for a really long time. No, because you know what it is? I like instant gratification, and mm. I just always in my head was like, it's going to take too long. It's going to take way too long. Mm -hmm. um, and then I realized it really doesn't take that long. No. It doesn't take any I longer say no, than a like shawl. I know, but I don't know. A shawl takes <laughs> just as long as a sweater if you're, you know, oh, really yeah, working could, on it. I could under, I, yeah, I could totally see that. A shawl takes me like four, like a month. A sweater to take me a couple of weeks to a month. I can knit a sweater probably faster than I can knit a shawl because a sweater, a lot of it, once you get past the yoke, it's just stockinette. You don't have to pay attention. Oh. Where a shawl most shawl patterns you're paying attention the whole way through because it's lace and stuff yeah so it's slower so a shawl probably takes me even longer yep so she won that mm. <laughs> interesting little tidbits yeah yeah so anyway that's why i had never knit one um so speaking of sweaters i didn't make much progress on my my croft sweater however i did find out that isabel kramer is having a knit along and it's like any of her patterns. Oh, and so I joined that. Nice. Um, so I'm on her Ravelry group, knitting along. I got to get a picture of my progress in there. But nice. this is what I've got so far. So, I mean, I made a little bit of progress. Yeah. But uh, I'm trying to figure out. Is it a V-neck? No. Oh. There's just some short rows oh. at the beginning. So it looks like one, so one side is... The front is shorter than the back okay. at the moment. So it gives you like more of like, I think like a scoop neck instead okay. of just like a straight across. Yeah. But until it gets a little longer, it looks a little, a little weird. But yeah. Ah. You can see the colors. This is my mm. Malabrigo Rio. It's delicious. It's worsted weight. And I got Beautiful. this at Stacy's a few yes. weeks ago when we were there. So pretty. And it's not like a really weird size right now because it's, I'm using magic loop until it gets bigger mm -hmm. because it's a raglan sweater. So you, you increase these are, this is like one of the raglan increases. If you can see that, let me move the cord out of the way a little bit. Oh yeah. Kind of see right here. This is yeah. where the increases are. So yeah. here's my fingernails. I got to redo them. Um, so it'll get bigger and bigger. Yeah. Until you separate for the sleeves. But until it gets to that point, I'm knitting it magic loop. Mm -hmm. And then eventually it'll just be in the round. It'll fit on this whole cord. Yep. But right now it's like in this weird stage where it's like a little too small mm -hmm. to knit in the round, mm -hmm. but it's a little too big for magic loop. So the cord keeps like, Oh, right. You know what I mean? It keeps yep. like, it's annoying. Yes. That's my point is that it's <laughs> annoying. <laughs> and I can't wait. If I had a smaller cord, like a 24 inch, I could have start buying 24 inch cords instead of the 40 inch. Uh, thank you, Dorian. She said it's gorgeous. Mm, it I is love gorgeous. It. it feels the really colors nice. Is so pretty. I have not knit a worsted weight sweater yet. This is my first one, and I like how it feels. Yeah, it's it's a little beefier. Yeah, it's, it's got a nice, mm. nice hand to yes, it. Yes, it does. So. It certainly does. That's where I'm at. But you guys, I have been dying. You don't even know so much yarn. Mm -hmm. So much yarn. We have been busy over here at Hypnotic Yarn yes. Headquarters. So I've not had a ton of knitting time, unfortunately, because I'm just like dying, 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 dying. dying. Yes. Dying all day, every day. Mm. Yes. Anyway, so that's that. So I... Oh, so pretty. Aren't those pretty? So I have um, my mom who's been on a sock knitting extravaganza, mm -hmm. um, took some of her hypnotic yarn um, club colorway and That's made so me some socks. Those are really cute. I'm really excited. Me too. Aren't those super cute? Yeah. I love them. I like how the heels turned out. Those are cute. Aren't those cute? Yeah. She did such a great job. 
She did. I mean, I can't for for somebody who just learned to do this a couple of months she's ago. She's like banging socks she out left is. and right. It's she's crazy. Like, she's killing it. Yeah, but she's oh a good inspiration mom. to people who are nervous about trying socks. Yeah, and then they realize it's not once you just understand the concept of it because they're knit weird. And yes. that's what I think throws people off. They're not just straightforward where you just start and finish. Right. But once you get it, mm -hmm. you can take socks anywhere. And you don't have to think. You don't need a pattern. You don't have to think about it because it's always going to be the same. I mean, you can do patterns, but I'm just saying. You can do yes. simple vanilla socks. And once you get it in your head, like, oh, this is the construction. Yep. Then you're, like, off to the races. I am all about the saying say what are they called these types of sayings they're not puns they're what sayings metaphors mm, they meta maybe. No. I, don't I don't know, know. Okay. i know what you're saying though yeah. and i it after we go off the air i'm gonna be like that's what it is i'm full of them today all day i'm like yeah blah, blah, blah. i hear you i do the same thing i constantly do it <laughs> <laughs> and I can't tell you what they're called because I, don't I have I don't have the words to tell you. You guys are thank smarter you, Catherine. Than us. Please tell us. Thanks, Doreen. <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you, everyone. Yeah, mom's doing a great job. She's not joining. She's gonna watch the replay. She has a lunch date with one of her uh, with one of her friends. Nice. So mom's nice, not nice, here. Nice. My mom. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Let me see. Let me just see. Oh crap. Oh, uh, that I'm not going to be able to get back in. Hold on, just <laughs> fill, fill some time. Oh, fill some part. time. Like yeah. I feel like I should be like la 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 la. Just do some dancing. You can dance. Okay, you're good. We're good. All right. So, um, hope you all enjoyed the show. <laughs> if you guys ordered leaf peeping, I sent out an email. I think a week ago or so. I don't know. Maybe not quite a week ago. Um, for my leaf peeping colorway, it's back in stock. Mm -hmm. There's two skeins left. There's a skein on. Delicious. There's one plush sock and one worsted. So basically exactly what we're showing ah, here is So this sock. is the worsted. Yep, and this is the plush sock. It is, um, if you ordered it, it's shipping today. Woohoo! So it is all but sold out aside from these two. Super but if, so if you wanted to, I don't know when I'm going to dye it again, to be honest, this colorway takes so much time yeah um it's one of those where it really takes me two full days to dye it yeah um so i did one bigish batch and i'll probably do another one i don't know when it might not even be until november so if you want one of these grab one <laughs> because yes. this is what i have left and i don't know when i'm gonna have it back out um and there's a ton of not a ton, but there's quite a few pictures in the Facebook group mm -hmm. of whips using these. So if you oh, want to see nice. what it looks like worked up, yep. you can pop into the Facebook group. If you're not in the Facebook group, um, just you can search hypnotic yarn on the search bar on Facebook and you can find the group and you can join and you can see what this looks like and also what a lot of the other colorways that I release look like. Yes. Um, the Halloween kit, so many people have gotten those recently. Oh, and already? I'm seeing pictures everywhere. So fast. Um, some people have cast on and started showing their socks. So you guys saw my sock last week. Yep. But you can see some other people's socks as well. Oh, it's up there. Yeah, yeah, I have not cast on the second one yet either. Who knows when that will happen, <laughs> if that will happen. Right. I do want to finish it, though. Yes. So, because anyway. Halloween socks. I know. Halloween socks. Yahoo! I love Halloween socks. They're so fun. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah. So, anybody who received a kit. Yeah. Um, Did you love it? Yeah, did you did you get a kit and did you love your kit? I'm so excited about that kit. I love it. I love it too. <laughs> this is probably one of my favorites. It was so cute. I it love was. the cake koozie. I've been a cake koozie fool. I've been using my cake koozies. I just think the whole thing was fun. It yes. The colors were fun. The cake koozies were fun. It was yes. just fun. The names were fun. Yes. I just I enjoyed. I enjoyed the whole thing. Yes, me too. And I'm like loving seeing all the pictures pop up on Facebook and Instagram and everything. It makes mm. like me I love when go people a little make crazy. Things. Like I love when people buy my pom poms yeah. and then they share their pictures of their yeah. hats with the pom poms. Yep. I love that. Me too. It makes me happy. It makes me happy too. You're just like ah and you love seeing that you know people liked liked it. You know, you yeah. work hard to do it because you want everyone to like it. Yes. So it makes us happy to know that yes. you do. So Here's the other thing I started. 
And I think one of the other reasons why I haven't made a ton of progress on my sweater was because I was dying to use this yarn. Mm. So I, I kept looking at it? it. Yeah. So I was like, I've just got to cast this on. I kept this gradient for myself. Um, the other side might show even better without. Yeah. Ah. yeah. Um, I kept this gradient for myself because these are my colors, you guys. Yes. This is. I love it. Cheryl's. So yeah. Gradients. These are the gradients that she's now. Yes. Been dying. And I yep. love, 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 love your gradients. Thank you. So this is a cowl. I'll show you. Oh, pretty. Kind of. Sorry, guys. I'm just going to show. I know. It looks a little. Thing. There we go. Woohoo. It's so pretty. So it's a cowl. It's it says it'll in. take one. Mine's probably not quite going to be as slouchy as that one. Um, because I'm doing this small, but I think it'll show off the yarn really well. Yes. So this is the that yellowy, like gold. It's like a wheat almost. Yeah, like I was going to say. Wheat. Yep, yep. I think that's the best way to explain yep. it, like a wheat. And you can kind of see the lace starting to emerge. Yes. Way. You see the lace popping out a little yeah. bit. Yeah, so pretty. Yeah. It's a simple, it's simple lace. This will mm. work up really quick. I'd never worked like my a own wheat worsted to a chocolate yarn. brown to almost like a rust. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Yeah. And this is my mm. first time using this base ever. It's so squishy. I don't like, dye worsted that often. Like it, it's so super squishy. It is. I really like how it feels. Yeah. And I should put it guess on. what? You should put it on. Yeah. That yeah. looks so good. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Yeah, yo. that's a good looking hat. I think it's going to be super pretty. What's a sexy hat, Jess? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good because this is going to be mine. Yeah, this isn't going in the shop, and that looks good on you, too. Thank you. I love the gradient for that hat. Like, don't you guys I love do. it? I think that's amazing. Yay, okay. Cheryl. Um, uh, oh, oh, the, the, the kid, kid. Kathy yes. says she got it and loved it and will be casting on in October. Nice. It was so good. Hubby could not stop touching. Oh, oh nice. That's, that's the best when your like when husbands are like, oh, soft. Yes. You're like, yes, you don't mind if I buy more, right? Not at all. <laughs> it's so soft. It's so soft. How can you not? Right? If we ever need pillows, mm -hmm. we can just fill our pillowcases with yarn and it'll be like a cloud. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, yeah I love that. I love your gradient. Thank you. So this is working up really quick. I'm sure it'll be done by next Wednesday. So I'll show you guys how that looks all worked up. But guess what? What? I still have to figure out a few things. But I was able to get yarn so that I can make jumbo, <gasps> the jumbo gradients. Yes. So they're going to be, once I work it out, they'll be 200 grams. They'll be double size. So they're oh. going to be like the worsted will have approximately like 440 yards oh my goodness so you could do like a worsted shawl you might need two skeins to do a full worsted shawl depending on what you're doing yeah but you could do a lot of projects oh yeah with one you know or you might need two but that's it amazing depend on your project but i'm gonna yes. do jumbo worsted jumbo dk yep and Maybe fingering. Fingering is hard just because the yard that's so much so many yards. Yeah. It's hard for me to make the sock lengths mm -hmm. by hand. They just they're so time consuming. Mm -hmm. Um, but we'll see. I might also do a few jumbo fingering. Yeah. We'll see. That nice. would be cool. Like an eight hundred yard yeah. fingering length oh, skein. Oh boy. Don't you mm -hmm. think that'd be crazy? Like you I could think do, it would be wonderful. You might, so it, depending on your size, you're able to do a whole sweater with one skein of fingering mm. weight or a whole shawl. Yeah. Yeah. The pom pom does make the hat, Doreen. It does. Yeah. So it I all agree. just comes together so nicely. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Doreen. She said I'm sexy, Jess. <laughs> Some mixing. Uh, thank you, Laurie. Yeah. Thanks, Catherine. Yeah. It looks really good on you. I know. I got to get one of these suckers on here. Yeah. Mm hmm. You do, and you got to get your tag on it. I know. I haven't got my tag. Well, I just finished the hat. Yeah. I, if anybody saw on Instagram well, yesterday. Chop, chop in the barber shop, Jess. I know. Uh, well, I just started it yesterday with um in the 
or the dentist office. Yeah. That <laughs> was quick. You do quick work. And then, well, I finished it last night. I was yeah. like, I'm Still, not going to bed until this is done. That's fast. Because I wanted to show everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what else? I feel like, do you have anything else to this week? I don't. We don't have a ton of stuff this week. No, I don't. What are you guys working on? Anything good? Yeah. What I'm you sure have? you are. Yeah. You guys always have some really cool, fun stuff. I know. You do. Feel free to share and share some pictures. Yeah. We can always go back and look. Mm-hmm. I got to remember. I always forget to go back and look in your oh, yeah. feed. Yeah. I'm like, ah, I'm all over the place. I know. It's hard, but that's fine. I'm terrible when it comes to that stuff. It's not that I'm ignoring you all. It's no. I can only take on so much at a time. <laughs> I know there's only two. Yeah, that's true. It's only like, so much Duh. to do. But <laughs> I go back and look if there was anything that you know you needed to definitely see. I would tell you. I yeah. go back and answer anyone that's in there. Um, yes. Catherine's knitting a pair of socks. Nice. And still knitting ten stitch blanket. All oh, those are pretty. I'd love to do one of those one day, Catherine. Those are nice. Those mm. are the ones that kind of go like this, right? They go like in a square and they get bigger and bigger, I think. Oh. The 10 stitch blanket. I think. I'm thinking of the right one. Huh. Uh, Those are pretty, though. Yeah. The ones that are, if the, you're the square. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so it Just almost like looks continuous. like a maze. Like, yeah. You know what I mean, it goes bigger and bigger and bigger. Those um, look really nice ingredients. Yeah. You can do something like that in crochet too, and they yeah. look really pretty. Oh, sure. Especially in gradients. Yeah. So when you said you were doing the the bigger jumbo, I was like, oh, that's what came to mind were yeah. those. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, those are cool looking. They're so pretty. They are. Super pretty. Wow. I don't have a whole lot. Um either. Yarnable is going to be shipping out October's Yarnable. It's super fun. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we've made making some improvements <laughs> that'll start rolling out this month too. So that is exciting. Yes. Um, you guys are going to be super yeah. excited when your Yarnable comes. Yeah, if you're already a member, um, or I mean, if you're brand new, you won't know the difference because yep. you haven't received the old ones. But I'm definitely committed to trying to make it as amazing as I can. So you know, little by little as I can make improvements to it, I'm definitely doing that. Mm. Um, Doreen said, what size, oh, hook do you use for finger weight yarn for your socks? I don't use a hook because I don't crochet. Oh. You answer, Jess. I, what, what size hook would you use for fingering weight yarn? I guess it depends on what you're, you're making, but you, oh, for socks. For socks. Um, yeah, I amazing. use, oh gosh, now I got to remember. I think I used a D for my socks. Yeah. A size D. Is that teeny? Yes. Um, I, I'll teeny have to double one. check, but I think I used a size D hook for yeah. my socks. Um, if you were going to knit socks, what size do you normally use? I use a size one needle. Size one. A one or a zero. Okay. But usually a one. Ah. Um. <laughs> yeah. Patty says she's making... Pumpkins, Indian <laughs> corn, and a sock yarn hat. Nice. Nice. Woohoo. You're just whipping out all the I projects. Know. Good for you. I know. Um. <laughs> Sorry for that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's okay. So, yeah, I used, I believe I used a D. Um, yeah. I'm almost 100% sure I used a D. It's tiny. Yeah. And a I, baby hook. I just, I'm, my pattern, I swear to you, it will be coming soon. <laughs> it's just, I hate keep having to re go yeah. back and make you just want it little, to be I want it to be perfect perfect so I want There's you guys to make that. it and I don't want there to be yeah. any issues and so I'm overly cautious mm -hmm. um so but that should be coming soon that's all right yeah um and then you guys I'm hesitant to say this just because I'm a little nervous I won't be able to get it done in time but I'm gonna really try so I'm gonna tell you um, that I'm going to be releasing a challenge, like a live seven-day challenge it, at the very beginning of October, which is like right around the corner. So that's why I'm like, oh, I hope I can make it. But I think I'll be able to. Mm. Um, and it is going to be all about getting your yarn and your 
your craft area and all of your things like under control and organized and not a mess. Yes. <laughs> if you're like mine. So we're calling it the yarn boss challenge and um and we're saying take your what how are we saying it? Um, turn your yarn mess into yarn. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Because who doesn't need a little yarn organization? Yes. So keep an eye out for that. I'm going to have a sign up for the challenge. If you sign up, you'll get an email every day with, um, there'll be downloadables, tip sheets, um, things that that I will teach you specifically ways that you can organize your yarn, stash your yarn, um, how to run a D stash if you have never done one and you're interested in doing something like that, the ways you can do it, where you can do it, um, all kinds of really cool things that you can do to make, um, to make organizing your yarn easier and also to, um, match your yarn up with patterns if you're interested in doing that so that you're not just bringing in a ton of yarn that you have no plan for. Cause I know that that can be an issue for some people. Mm. You know, you just feel like you're bringing in all kinds of yarn, but you just have no idea what you're going to use it for. So it's going to cover all that stuff. And I'm really excited about it. So I hope you'll think about joining in. It is not something that will take a lot of time, maybe 15 minutes or so a day. And I think it's going to be a seven day, a seven day challenge. And I'm super excited about Yay. it. So Perfect. Keep an eye out, and if you feel like joining, you can sign up. Um, the intention is I'll also be going live every day of the challenge to talk about that day's topic as well, and I can answer any questions um, during that time. Are you going to be going live like on your page, or will mm -hmm. it be in the group? Or? On the page. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. So very nice. Yeah. Hi, so Mom. you can, you know, you'll see the lives, but if you want to get the free downloadable um, cheat sheets and all those things, you'll need to sign up so that you can get those things. Mm -hmm. um, but otherwise you'll, you'll see the, um, the Facebook lives too. Nice. So anyway, that's all I wanted to throw that out there and let you know that that is something that's hopefully coming. And I think if I say it out in public, then maybe I'll it'll happen. Get my butt. <laughs> through the whole process of finishing it. <laughs> it's, life yeah, is busy. It is busy, but it's, it's well, it's well on its way. Yes. To being done. Yay. 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 I, I don't mean, know what I'm doing. Uh, it's funny cause I have all of my yarn organized, mm. but I think that I still need this challenge. <laughs> I'm like, I have it all organized. And then the other day I was looking for something and I was like, and so I have um, bookshelves mm -hmm. and the cubbies are kind of deep. Yeah. So I have yarn. And then what I tried to do was take all the colors that were behind mm -hmm. and at least have one in the front. Yeah. To see. Yeah. Which is all well and good. If you know how many of that color you have. Right. Right. And this will do that. Yes. So I'm this like, challenge will work, so walk you through that. I was like, I need this color, but I need like three skeins of it. Yeah. So I grabbed it and then I was like, oh gosh, now I got to look behind to see if right. I have three skeins. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, now I got to order yarn. And my husband's like, don't you have enough in the other room? And right. I'm like, well, not in that color. Right. Not in that color. <laughs> well, and that's exactly what this challenge is for. So you will know without having to dig through mm -hmm. however you decide to organize your yarn, whether it's in cubbies or bins or whatever, you won't have to dig through things to know exactly what you have at any given time. And it does not involve a spreadsheet, just a heads up. <laughs> so if you're, you know, if you're thinking, oh, it's a spreadsheet, it's not. Um, and there are options um, for people who are Ravelry users and people who are not Ravelry users. So nice. I did try to take that into consideration. And if you are not on Ravelry, um, I gave some options of different ways that you can do certain things in another area. So hopefully that makes, makes sense. Perfect. But it's totally fun. Um, and yeah, Lori said she needs it. Patty says she needs it. Yeah, I need it too. <laughs> and that's why we're doing this. Mm. And I think it's a good time of year to get things under control for the new year. Yeah. And it's too busy at Christmas time to be doing that. It's too yes. busy in November and Thanksgiving and Black Friday and all that. Yes. This is the time. Yep. Not, you know, two months from now when things are out of control, you know? Word. Yeah. <laughs> Word up. Word. Um, and 
what I want. There was something else I wanted to say, and I can't remember what it was now. Um, uh oh. I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know. But and also, Yarnable reopens in October. Yes. At the beginning of the month. Yes. Towards me. Oh, I know what I wanted to say. Patty said she skipped this month. She skipped October and then changed her mind and couldn't figure out how to add it back. Patty, if you, oh, I could still get you in, Patty. If you want in on October, can send an email to hello at hypnoticyarn.com and we can, we should be able to fi figure that out for you. But you can't add it back after the renewal date of the 10th. You can't unskip it. Because you can only skip it prior to the renewal date. Okay. After that, you can't unskip it. Yep. But if you message us or email hello at Hypnotic Yarn, we can manually help you with that. But we would need to know, like, today because we're packing everything up. Yes. So I can help you out if, you're, if you want fingering weight. Otherwise, I won't have anything extra. But if you want fingering weight, I can hook you up. Yes. I, I should have Look extra. Look you. Everything. How amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that face. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not that amazing. If you emailed the hello at hypnotic yarn, it goes to Brienne and she will take care of you. <laughs> I don't know. I still think it's pretty amazing that you squeezed her in. I, yeah. I think we can. I'm pretty sure we can. So anyway, send an email if you want that. Woohoo. Okay. I'm done. Awesome. Uh, I tried that and was told I couldn't. We'll try again. Hmm. Hmm. Well, then maybe we can't. Um, try again and just say, um, Cheryl told me to send this email. And I'll go in and look. Yep. Because I think I might be able to figure it out. Putting our thinking cap on. Yeah, I think I can. Yep. Just send another email if you want and just say, Cheryl said to send this. <laughs> 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 that way Brian won't be like, what? Yes. Okay. Perfect. All right. I'm all done. Okay. Me too. All right. Have an awesome week. You yes. Guys. Have a fantastic week. Happy fall. Yeah. Thank um, you for joining us. Yep. Yeah, happy um, soon to be October. Can't mm -hmm. believe that that's coming up so fast. I know. And um, we will see you next week. Yes. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye, Thank guys. You. <laughs>